20th day, evening prayer. Let us pray. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You are clothed with majesty and splendor. You wrap yourself with light as with a cloak and spread out the heavens like a curtain. You lay the beams of your chambers and the waters above. You make the clouds of your chariot. You ride on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers and flames of fire your servants. You have set the earth upon its foundations so that it never shall move at any time. You covered it with the deep as with a mantle. The waters stood higher than the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the voice of your thunder they hastened away. They went up into the hills and down to the valleys beneath, to the places you had appointed for them. You set the limits that they should not pass. They shall not again cover the earth. You send the springs into the valleys. They flow between the mountains. All the beasts of the field drink their fill from them. All the wild asses quench their thirst. Beside them, the birds of the air make their nests and sing among the branches. You water the mountains from your dwelling on high. The earth is fully satisfied by the fruit of your works. You make grass grow for flocks and herds and plants to serve mankind that they may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden our hearts, oil to make a cheerful countenance, and bread to strengthen the heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon, which he planted, in which the birds build their nests, and in whose tops the stork makes his dwelling. The high hills are a refuge for the mountain goats and the stony cliffs for the rock badgers. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time of its setting. You make darkness, that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest prowl. The lions roar after their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they slip away and lay themselves down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the great and wide sea, with its living things too many to number, creatures both small and great. There moves the ships, and there is that Leviathan which you have made for the sport of it. All of them look to you, to give them their food in due season. You give it to them, they gather it, you open your hand, and they are filled with good things. You hide your face and they are terrified. You take away their breath and they die and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit and they are created. And so you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in all his works. He looks at the earth and it trembles, he touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being. May these words of mine please him. I will rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed out of the earth, and the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.